Welcome to Lightworker Tarot and Oracle. This is a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius for October 2019. Since most of us have other prominent signs in our charts, I recommend you also watch those videos to get additional messages. If you're interested in a personal reading or interested in purchasing my illumination deck, the link to my Etsy shop is below. If I feel guided to, I may use one or more of the decks you see on the desk for additional messages. Together they help me deliver what you are meant to hear. Okay, Sagittarius. Spirit, help me channel the strongest messages that need to come through for Sagittarius for October 2019. The strongest energies, please. Let's start out with Wisdom of the Oracle. Spirit, what is the message that you want Sagittarius to hear October 2019? What is Sagittarius meant to hear? What message wants to come through for Sagittarius spirit? That's a lot of cards. Let's try this again. They're talking. What messages want to come through for Sagittarius spirit? Anything else? Very jumpy. Okay. First card, round and round. So perhaps you've been in a situation with uh, someone again and again and again, or you find yourself in the same place again and again. Ah, interesting, we've got here and now, and that came out for one of the other signs. So people are being asked to live in the moment, live in the moment, the past, you know, Round and round indicates that there's something in the past that has been recurring, but here and now is really about um, being present, assessing what's happened, but you can't change the past and you can't predict the future. So just be here in the here and now. Okay, let's pull one of the major arcanas from the Psychic Tarot. Spirit. What other message do you want Sagittarius to see? What is the theme for the month of October 2019? What do you want Sagittarius to see? I also shuffled off camera, but it doesn't hurt. Spirit, what do you want Sagittarius to see for October 2019? What is the strongest energy that needs to come through for Sag? Okay. We've got triumph chariot anything else spirit anything else that wants to come through for Sagittarius anything anything else yes light the Sun Wow happy days it's beautiful so whatever has been this cycle you're in it looks like you're moving forward to something that makes you quite happy that's nice energy Okay, let's keep this going. Spirit, what else does Sagittarius need to hear for the month of October 2019? What is coming up for the collective in October, please? What do you want them to see? What are the messages for Sagittarius Spirit? What do you want Sagittarius to know for October 2019? October 2019 for Sagittarius. What else, Spirit? Messages for Sagittarius, please. Messages for Sagittarius, please. What else do they need to see? What else does Sagittarius need to see, Spirit? Anything else? Anything else? Okay. Let's 
So, from the Illumination deck, we have multiple choices, divorce, navigate carefully, and contemplation. Hmm. Interesting. Because here, we have a situation that is requiring you to just be grounded in the present day. Uh, but even though we see the divorce card and navigate carefully, um, the choice may be to move away from something into a happier situation. The chariot and the sun are um, both beautiful cards. It's about overcoming. It's about stepping into the light after a period of uh, difficulty. And um, I would say that qualifies. Okay, let's start clarifying. I'm going to use the Arcanum Tarot. Let's see. Spirit, clarify multiple choices. What's going on for Sagittarius in the month of October 2019? Okay, that flute. Four of Pentacles. What else? What else? Multiple choices. There's there's a holding on to something. Could be holding on to, to money or stability. We have the Ace of Swords. Clarity, truth. What else? Anything else? Multiple choices. Anything else? Anything else? Oop. Wow. Oh, God. Okay. Um, we got a lot of cards. Okay. Uh, but I think they're applicable here. So we have the Eight of Cups. This is about walking away to something more fulfilling from something that was not fulfilling, perhaps. The Two of Wands, looking in a new direction. That's clearly one of the choices. The Nine of Wands, um, also the Wounded Warrior card, but really to me this speaks to um, having really put in a lot of effort, uh, someone who's determined to do something to make a change. And Seven of Pentacles, someone who's waited a long time to see things come to fruition in life. Uh, and this could have been a, a, a a deliberate pause or maybe that something took a really long time to uh, to realize so that's a lot uh, but you know with multiple choices clearly you or the person you are dealing with have uh, a lot of things on your plate a lot of choices to make I'm just looking at these cards for a bit to just kind of assess where you or someone may be. I, this is worth noting, bottom of the deck, the tower. So change is coming. Multi choices are presenting themselves and, ch and change is definitely coming, but it may be a difficult choice. We have the navigate carefully card, which we'll clarify in a minute, the tower. So this is telling me that, um, you know, it could be a difficult decision. It could be something that is uh, upsetting to you or the people in your life. You can hold on and stand in your truth, or you can look in a new direction, walk away. Whatever it is, you've waited a long time and you're determined. Okay, let's move to uh, divorce. This is a tough topic. And for those of you going through it, I'm so sorry. Done there. <laughs> okay, a couple things came out. Yeah. Uh, we've got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And we've got the Hierophant. So this, uh, yeah, this is pretty clear. This is pretty clear. Um, there is the, the breakdown of a relationship here. The Hierophant representing commitment. Um, could be with a water sign. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Let's take one more for divorce. Knight of Pentacles reversed Hierophant. Divorce. What's going on here? Two of Pentacles. 
So um, weighing options, this is considering, uh, you know, the choices. I mean, I, I, I do believe that rather than the typical juggling two people kind of comment, which I don't see third party yet, this is really about um, weighing what you need to do to move forward. Again, this is energies go both ways. This could be you or who you're dealing with. But the two of pentacles is, is about um, making something happen. <laughs> oh, bottom of the deck, two of cups. Okay, so let's move on to navigate carefully. What is this? Navigate carefully. What's going on on this journey for Sag or the person in their life that requires this careful navigation? What is this? Clarify, navigate carefully, Spirit. Why is that here for Sagittarius? Why is that here? What can you tell us about this, Spirit? Anything else? Okay. Okay, we've got the Queen of Swords reversed. Um, hmm. This could be someone who uh, is um, confused, out of sorts. Um, someone who uses their words in a, kind of a cutting way. We've got the Three of Pentacles. This is all about foundation and working together. And here's the Sun. So it's repeated. The readings today are just unbelievable. The cards are coming out that need to come out. There's a lot of overcoming that seems to be going on. Uh, and I love that. Um, Libra season is all about love and relationships. Um, in this particular case, it looks like there's a difficult situation, a difficult ending um, that probably needs to be carefully navigated. But, you know, if it leads you to positive movement forward to a happier place, um, you know, for those of us who have been there, sometimes that's what it takes. Bottom of the deck, three of swords. Okay, let's move on to contemplation. Spirit, what does Sagittarius need to know about contemplation? This is, I'm, I'm picking up that here and now energy. Why is contemplation here? What does Sagittarius need to think about? What are they thinking about? What are they doing, proposing? Four of Cups. Yeah, this is sort of the emotionally neutral card. Um, disappointment in, in love in the past. What else? Contemplation for Sagittarius. What else, Spirit? What else do you have for this? Contemplation. What does Sagittarius need to know, Spirit? What do they need to know? Anything else? Whoop. Yes. Okay, we've got the Queen of Pentacles reversed. And we have Strength. So, it feels to me like someone is, is not feeling stable in this situation. I mean, divorce leaves people feeling that way, right? It's, it's not really a... A surprise that this came out but let me let me clarify a little bit um, Queen of Pentacles reversed why is that here anything else for the Queen of Pentacles reversed anything else not from that deck I'm gonna move on to the mini rider weight clarify the Queen of Pentacles in reverse Spirit, why is that here? Contemplation, Queen of Pentacles reversed, having strength, overcoming emotional difficulty. What, what is that, Spirit? What else? What other messages do you want to show us? Ah, oh, your happiness awaits. Who is that? Hap oh, bottom of the deck, strength again. Unbelievable. By the way, for those of you who haven't already uh, discovered Intuitive Tarot and Astrology by Annette, she's amazing and she has a line, I hope nobody's offended by this because I'm going to swear, 
but she always says, oh my gosh, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> it cracks me up because this is how I feel when cards constantly repeat themselves in a reading. It really underscores the message and it's exactly what is meant to come through at the time you're watching. So, wow. Okay, so Queen of Pentacles in reverse is not feeling terribly stable right at the moment. Um, a little bit concerned about moving forward, but, but there's, she wants happiness and I think she's going to get it and she's going to have the strength to get it. But what else can you tell the spirit about this Ten of Cups? Ten of Cups. Yeah, yeah. This is, um, this is honestly, this is triumph. This is, this is victory, maybe after a period of, of um, you know, defeat or difficulty. Oh yeah, bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. You're overcoming this. You are the person in your life. You're moving on from this difficulty. Now I'm going to take another pass. Let's go through this multiple choices. What choice, what choice will Sagittarius make? Yeah, looking in a new direction. Okay, Annette, I'm going to use your phrase again. You can't make this shit up. Can't make it up. Moving on to what? What? Okay, introspection. That's okay. Illumination. Taking time to think about what to do next. Multiple choices. What else? Yes, healing. Healing. The Four of Swords. Anything else? Anything else? I love Annette. She's crazy. She's awesome. She has a lot of energy and she's psychic and has a real gift. You should watch her. Okay, multiple choices. What else do you want to tell us about where Sagittarius is going? Sagittarius is going to juggle the situation and figure it out. There's a lot to work through. The Two of Pentacles is is really um, it, it's 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 figuring it out. It is it is figuring it out, being in the here and now, taking care of logistics stuff. Bottom of the deck, the sun, the sun, the sun. Happy days are coming. Happy days are coming, guys. Okay, let's let's put one more clarifier on divorce. Is there anything regarding this particular situation? for Sagittarius or the person in their life that they need to understand. That wanted to flip out. We've got the Seven of Wands. This is um, a little bit of resistance, defensiveness. Anything else? Divorce. Divorce. And the Seven of Wands. Why, what else, Spirit? What else do you want Sagittarius to know about this? What else? We've got two. We've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So the Queen of Pentacles is reversed here. Uh, it could be that, um, that there's an apology to or from a fi uh, an earth sign. You could be dealing with an earth sign. This could be um, almost maybe an apology or a peace offering. Um, Maybe this is someone else in your life and this divorce will allow you to move forward and offer love to an earth sign or someone else. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. Chariot, chariot. Gotta love it. All right, I won't, I won't stick on that point. <laughs> it was pretty funny though. Okay, navigate carefully. Navigate carefully. Queen of Swords reversed. I am a little curious about this. You've got a couple of queens going on here. Let's get one for the Queen of Swords reversed. What is that about, Spirit? Okay, this is about um, fate, destiny. It's about things coming to, uh, you know, coming full circle. Whoa. I just added that off the table. So round and round, you know, cycles ending, cycle beginning. What else can you tell us about the Queen of Swords reversed in the wheel? What else? What else? 
What else does Sagittarius need to know? Okay. Um, sometimes this card gets a bad rap. You know, it's, it's selfishly winning at all costs. It could be this Queen of Swords. You know, it is air energy uh, like the Queen of Swords, but I almost feel as though um, from the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Swords reverse with the Three of Pentacles, this was, it was a bit of a no-win situation. That's what I'm getting from this. But the sun energy is, is beautiful. Like you're moving past that. Okay, let's take a clarifier on... Let's do overall. Let's just pull an overall overarching. Because you're coming from, or the person you're with is coming from a certain area, moving into something that is helping them overcome, that's making them happy. They have the strength to get through this, to get to a better place. But um, let's, let's find out what Spirit wants to say about the potential outcome here. Knight of Swords reversed. Okay, there, there is probably some, um, some anger or reckless behavior here. That's, that's going on in this situation. That might be what this Navigate Carefully is all about. Um, Spirit, what do you want to tell us about the Knight of Swords reversed? What else? Knight of Swords reversed. Okay. You've got the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Uh, a lot of air energy here. So you might be dealing with an air sign or you might be dealing with someone who is... Um, in their head a lot, someone who's contemplating um, cutting something out, which one of the choices certainly could be divorce. Wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Empress. All right. I'm going to pull a magical message from the fairies. Spirit, what else can you tell Sagittarius about this particular situation? There is certainly um, a lot that's in flux, but there is a happy future after going through this difficulty. What else do you want to tell Sagittarius spirit? What else do they need to know? You've got two. Be yourself. The situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. Yeah. Having the strength to, to do what you need to do. And express your individuality. Allow your true self to shine because you're awesome. I really feel like, you know, what has happened here is someone is moving out of a situation that it, it, it was perhaps one-sided I'm surprised the Three of Pentacles here did not come out in reverse, but you will overcome this. You will definitely overcome this. You're, you'll regain your stability. Just think about what you want to do in the here and now because you will be able to move forward triumphantly. Okay, now I'm going to pull and uh, Romance Angels card. What do you want Sagittarius to know about this situation? What else, Spirit? What else do you want to show Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know? Okay. You've got make the effort. So, interesting. This just kind of took a little bit of a, a different turn for me. It could be that one of the choices is to heal the situation, to fight for the marriage, because happier days are coming. Take it how it resonates. <laughs> that is your message for October 2019. Good luck to you and your person in this situation. I hope you have a great month. Love and light to you. Bye.